In one of our last videos, we have seen how to leverage Docker Desktop to connect with MCP servers using MCP Toolkit. But there had been certain updates since we published our last video. So in this video, we will try to go over those updates. So first thing what we have to do is if you are using a Docker Desktop, then you have to install the latest Docker version. So currently I'm using this 4.43.1 and this particular Docker Desktop version is going to be a bit different than the last what we have used. So as we have covered in our last video, if you want to interact with MCP MCP server then first of all we have to go to manage and we have to browse for this MCP toolkit extension and then actually we have to install it so that we can utilize it but now you can see it is stating that this has been deprecated and this is going to be deprecated in docker desktop 4.42 or later version now we don't have to access docker MCP toolkit from extension it's going to be integrated directly with the docker desktop so you could see here is a dedicated section for that in this new docker desktop version and this is being called MCP toolkit beta whatever interaction we have to do with mcp server that we can do it directly from here first tab you see is servers if you are adding any kind of server then that is going to be reflected over here and then there are some highlighted servers at the bottom now you could see actually they are supporting 134 mcp servers and this is the complete list of all the servers so if you want to install any of the server then we can just click on this add server and it will get added into your server section so let me just uh, one particular server this is devduckgo this would help us in website search if you just click on this then you could see whether any kind of configuration is required in this case so to utilize this we don't have to pass any specific configuration and then what kind of tools it's going to support so it supports two kind of tools now what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on this one duckduckgo and now you could see in my server section i have got this duckduckgo now we do have mcp server got added now to access this particular server we have to enable clients so i will just go to this client section and you can see like some changes in this section as well so now particular docker desktop is supporting many mcp clients they have specifically mentioned this visual studio code as well you could see like there is no connect button directly what we get for cloud desktop so here you could see it is already connected so i can just open cloud desktop and directly access it you can refer my last video for that how we have interacted with cloud desktop in this particular video i'm going to focus on visual studio code and how actually we can interact with it so because there is no direct connect button as such so what we have to do is we have to open this and then we have to manually install it so when we say manually install it then we have to you know copy paste this particular configuration in our visual studio code so there are multiple options if you want to add mcp server in our visual studio code we can do the direct installation which is not required in this case because we are trying to leverage this via docker desktop so we can either add it in the workspace setting or we can add it in the user setting so once you add it in the user setting then it is going to be available across all your workspaces and you do not have to do this activity again and again so for that actually we can just go to this particular configuration and we can add this mcp.json file for a specific work is we can just create this file and we can add that set so just to show you i will go to my visual studio code and here i have to create a file as mentioned in the instructions so i have to create this vs code slash mcp.json file and once i create this file i can just copy paste this particular command here it's stating like incorrect type so what I would do I will just remove it from here and I will just save it now if I save it and if I go ahead and start this particular server then you can see like we have got two tools in this case and why we are getting two tools because we have added one particular server this DuckDuckGo and it supports two tools just to make it work what I can do like I can open this chat I can clear it out here I have to make sure I am selecting agent mode then you can show the model what you have and just to check the tools what I can do like I can click on this configure tools button and it is going to show me all the tools which is going to be available here so in this case you could see this particular mcp server where we have this mcp docker it is having this fetch content and search so these two are coming from duckduckgo so i'm just going to ask any random question so i'm just going to ask what is the latest news about tesla setup in india here you could see it's passing this particular query and it's going to use this duckduckgo tool for that and i i just need to go ahead and hit on continue and you could see like i'm able to get this response from here 
So it is stating correctly where the new showroom is going to be set up, what is going to be its price, what kind of models are going to be there. One more thing what I want to highlight in this case, earlier actually when we were accessing any kind of MCP server, then the command was a bit different. But in this case, you, you could see, okay, we are passing something like this MCP gateway. So what is this Docker MCP gateway? So this Docker MCP gateway is newly integrated with Docker desktop. So if you are using any latest version of Docker desktop, then to access any kind of mcp server we just have to pass this docker mcp gateway run command under the hood like it will try to route your request to any specific mcp server so how it's going to be beneficial so suppose if i add any other server like i can add n number of mcp servers from here and this mcp gateway is going to help us to handle everything so as mentioned on the documentation of this mcp gateway these are going to be the key features of this mcp gateway so first thing is going to be server management so as i stated like you can add n number of servers in the docker desktop and then it will list inspect and call mcp tool resources and prompt from multiple servers other thing is going to be container based server you can run mcp server as a docker container so all those mcp servers are going to run as a separate docker container it is also going to manage your secret it will handle your api key credentials on docker desktop dynamic discovery and reloading so so automatic tool prompt and resource discovery from running of the server and then and this will also monitor so built-in login and call tracing capabilities so all the functionality would be like any other gateway functionality so if you have worked with any kind of other gateway so you know like how gateway works this particular gateway has been integrated with docker desktop to specifically for mcp server so same kind of functionality now we are going to get with mcp servers as well because it has been integrated with this mcp gateway so just to show you i'm going to add another mcp server and this time i'm going to go to catalog and look for mongodb this mongodb mcp server would help us to connect to mongodb database and mongodb atlas clusters as well there are going to be some 20 tools which are listed over here so we can just perform some operation on our collection on our database and all those things just to interact with it we have to pass our configuration and this is going to be our mongodb connection string that we need to pass it over here here i'm using mongodb atlas so just to get the connection string you can go to your cluster click on this connect and then it will give you this box i can go over here and i can look into my connection string so you can just take this connection string only one thing what we have to remember like when we are passing this connection string you have to replace this db password with the actual password once you have the connection string you can go to this particular secret and here you can just paste it out so let me just remove this whatever i have and i'm just going to paste my connection string and then i can just click on connect and that's it now my connection string has been configured and now just to add the server i can just click on this plus button and as soon as i click on this plus button it's going to get added into our working mcp server so if i go to here then you can see mongodb is also getting listed it is having 20 tools and this duckduckgo is having two tools so even we are passing certain connection string just to interact with mongodb mcp server but we don't have to pass anything over here as such our command and argument are going to be same and under the hood mcp gateway is going to take care of everything so it's very convenient for us to interact with any kind of server whether it's coming with any kind of configuration or not so if we have this server running then you can just restart it i had it stopped so i just clicked on start and now you could see there are going to be 22 tools if you already have something which is running you can just click on restart so that like it can pick it up another set of tools we can also confirm it by using this configure toolbox and if i go over here you can see all the mongodb tools has been listed over here so we have aggregate collection and all those tools what we have seen earlier now what i can do i can just go ahead and you know ask some question related to my cluster so i can just ask how many collections are there on my cluster and then it will use a specific mongodb mcp tool so here you can see running list database if i go over here it has you know picked it up demo db admin and local so it's first listing a database then it has executed this list collection command and under this database it has got like these two collections and ultimately at the end we are going to get the output like this so it's saying in demo db database we do have two collection vector store and employee and I can now next 
set of question I can ask how many documents are there in uh, demo DB database collections. So again, it should be able to execute the required tool uh, just to get that count. So we don't have to write any query as such. It is already going to, to get the count by executing the necessary tools. And you could see like it has listed out, okay, in this particular collection, I have 31 documents. In this one, I do have 20 documents. So total document in, in all these collections are going to be 51. And that's how we can interact with all these MCP servers using this upgraded Docker desktop. And we can use this gateway to interact with all these servers. That's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.